Hallelujah. I want you to say hallelujah as you are jumping on. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes, there he goes. Oh, praise the living God. Well, praise God. Let me know if you hear me and see me well. I am using the crazy Wi-Fi here from Samoa. I'm alive. I'm here. I'm alive. I'm well here in the beautiful nation of Samoa. This is Dr. Pastor Ben Lim. Uh, if you're watching from the stateside, happy Friday. If you're watching from another country, shalom. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom to your dome. What's up, friends? What's up, Ray Ray? Thank you, Joyce, Natalie, bless you. Rob, bless you, bless you. Friends, I want you to comment below where you are watching from. Give us some hearts and likes. Share this on your wall. Today, I want to talk about the secrets of the Lord being revealed. God loves to reward. Remember, the Bible says he is a rewarder of those who seek his face. So do not think God is an unjust, evil senile God. No, no. He is a rewarder of those who seek his face. So are you ready for God to reward you? And whenever God rewards us, many times it comes with a revelation. It comes with an, an unve unveiling, a revealing of something in the spirit realm. And then the manifestation or the materialization begins to come to pass. But if first happens, with revelation. Amen. Well, let me know where you're watching from. Happy Friday. Uh, Shabbat Shalom, wherever you're watching from. It is Saturday here in Samoa. And tonight is my last official day of ministry here. Man, friends, I've been in the glory. It has been surprisingly wonderful. Uh, I, I told my friends, Apostle Cruz, my good friends and hosts here in Samoa, I said, I didn't have too much expectation, honestly. Because that was last year in 2017, and of course then to now, it's a totally different season. But I did not have too much expectation. I was more looking forward to Fiji, because I'm going to be in Fiji in a, in a couple days. And I was looking forward to my Hawaii conference, of course. But uh, man, the Lord is showing up and showing out, and I'm so ecstatic to be a part of God's plan and God's vision, mission here in the island nation of Samoa. Amen. So listen, uh, tonight is my last night ministering. I'm ministering again in literally eight hours from now. So make sure you watch the broadcast. It's going to be so powerful. So, so powerful. Probably one of the most important or the most important meetings I've done all year. And, you know, I may say that every I may say that often, but it's, it really is because we go from glory to glory. So as we continue on and progress in the Lord, it continues to become more and more crucial and exact and important. Amen. Well, um, I'm here in the great nation of Samoa. I want to talk to you about the secrets of the Lord, the secrets of God. Like I said earlier, God is a rewarder of those who seek his face. And if you seek his face, he will reward you, not just in secret, but he will reward you openly. Amen. Today, I want to talk to you about the revelation of God's secrets. And if you're with me today, I want to say amen. And I thank you, Dee Dee. Bless you. Bless you, Natalie. Let me know where you're watching from DC. Bless you. And like I said, uh, this is my last night session of ministry here in Samoa. Then Monday, I fly off to Fiji, and I'm excited for some great rest and Shaka Baba in Fiji. It's going to be wonderful. Amen? It's going to be wonderful. And then I fly off to Hawaii with Prophet Charlie and Bryn Champ and Steve Swanson. I record two albums in Hawaii. That's going to be awesome. And, uh, and then from there, I go to Singapore. All right, so we got a full, full jam-packed season because it's time for the harvest. Someone say amen. 
Well, let me know where you're watching from so I can say hello. Hey, Marilyn, bless you. And look at this. This is a natural energy drink. Guarana. You may have heard it at Fogo de Chao, a Brazilian restaurant. Guarana. This is a, a natural fruit, a natural energy drink that we drink here. All right. So bottoms up. Saludos. Amen. <laughs> Let me know where you're watching from. Amen, Didi, shaking up the islands. Yaman. Yeah, and I'm very excited because at the end of this year, we're going to do a crusade in Dominican Republic. So you can join us for that if you want to be a part of this crusade in Dominican Republic. That's going to be awesome. And not only that, amen, but uh, I'm also going to... Another island Caribbean nation, which I cannot say publicly, but it is a strictly communist country. So at the end of this year, I'm going to a strict communist nation, and we're going to blow it up with the fire of God. So God is good. What's up, Vicky from UAE? Clute, Texas. Bless you, bless you. Watching from Kentucky. Bless you. Washington State. Maryland. Thank you, Lord. Savai'i. Yeah, Savai'i is a neighboring island. It's also part of Samoa. So, bless you. Bless you. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. And all of God's people say, Amen. Well, praise God. Um, I don't have too much time today. I maybe got about 20 to 30 minutes maximum now. But today I want to talk to you about the secrets of the Lord being revealed. And uh, did you know that you are God's secret? Did you know that you are one of God's secrets? And uh, have you ever tasted a hot sauce? Okay, like I like spicy. But have you ever tasted a hot sauce and you're like, oh, what's the recipe? And somebody says, sorry, it's a family secret. Have you ever tasted something so good? And you said, give me the recipe. He said, uh-uh, this is our family secret. This is grandma's cooking. This is a family heirloom. Amen. So God wants to reveal his secrets to you. Okay, he wants to reveal his secrets. And I believe you are one of God's greatest secrets. I'm going to say that again. I believe you are one of God's greatest secrets. Every single one of us, we are a secret that's being, that's waiting to be revealed. Kind of go deeper here. You are a secret of God that God wants to reveal. But he cannot reveal you to certain people because they are not worthy of receiving the revelation of Christ in you, the hope of glory. That's why some people look at you like you're regular, you're average, you're familiar. People look at you like you're just common, but God hides you. Who knows that God loves to hide something that's valuable? Something that's precious. So woman of God, men of God, God loves to hide, uh, you know, the valuable parts of who we are. Not flaunt it. Not shake it like a Polaroid picture. But God likes to hide us. He likes to keep us concealed uh, in secret because how precious you are. But you see, I believe we're in a season right now where God is revealing secrets. God is revealing secrets, okay? God is revealing secrets. What does that mean? That means that God is entrusting you with revelations of his heart. God is entrusting you with something that's so valuable and something that's so weighty. Someone say weighty. You know, secrets are weighty, right? Imagine like the president of the United States, not Joe Biden, because he's a clown and he's a false, fraudulent uh, he, he's a conniving stealer. He, th that's what he is. And he's going to go to jail in Jesus' name. Amen. Uh, however, imagine like President Trump, the president of the United States, the secrets that he has and carries, the secrets con concerning nuclear weapons, secrets concerning uh, the protection of children, the protection of certain entities and assets. How weighty are those secrets? I need you to hear this. Every secret of God is weighty. 
And if you cannot uphold that secret, the weight will crush you. I, I got a secret. <laughs> I got a secret. I just can't wait to share with you. Ooh, I got a secret. Do you know what that means? That means you have loose lips, which sinks ships. That means that you're not worthy to uphold a secret. You, you do not have the strength. You do not have the, uh, the core, the resounding responsibility, the maturity for you to uphold the weight of the word of God the weight of a release of the presence the weight someone say wait the weight of the presence of god hallelujah rabbi and today we have so many people who are quick to post about it quick to share about it quick to talk about it quick to boast in the lord but it's really boasting in themselves we need to know how to be in the tension of holding the secrets of the Lord and letting it marinate and brew and fester up and become the fullness of what God intends it to be. That's why many people, oh, this light, Lord God. That's why many people, excuse me, that's why many people, they self-sabotage themselves by speaking too quickly. They self-sabotage themselves by speaking it out into the earth realm, the natural realm. You self-sabotage yourself because you're saying something to people you should have never shared it with. You're saying more than you should say. You self-sabotage yourself and get doors closed on you and you look like a fool or you cause yourself to fall into shame because you speak more than you should, than you are being led by the Lord. If that makes sense, I want you to say amen. So are you able to keep a secret until the right time? The Bible says the prophet Daniel, he released and wrote the word and he concealed it for a time and a time and a half. Some words, mantles, gifts, ministries, revelations are so weighty that they must be concealed for a time and a time and a half. If you're following me today, give me some hearts and likes. Because if that word of revelation is released too quickly, it can commit suicide on the believer. It can cause so much backfire and backlash that they actually commit and omit premature death upon themselves. Premature death. Some of the greatest, most prolific icons of our day, Martin Luther King Jr., Tupac Biggie, all right? I mean, you have number, Prophet Kim Clement, number of these prolific, iconic, prophetic voices. They're prophets of our day. And you have to ask the question, did they know too much? Did they say too much? Did they do too much? If you're following me, I want you to say amen. But I want to propose to you that you are God's great secret. You are God's great secret. You are a secret messenger of the Lord. You are a secret weapon of the Holy Ghost. Someone say amen. You are God's greatest secret. That's why many of you, you're secret agents in the kingdom of the Lord. It's hard for people to discern you. It's hard for people to understand you. It's hard for people to connect with you, to relate with you because you are God's secret. Therefore, it's difficult for people to understand the revelation of you. It's difficult for people to look past the veil or the eyes of the natural and to look beyond because you're actually a secret agent of God. If you're with me today, say amen. Give you some hearts and lights because God is saying he's revealing secrets in this hour. And I wanna to propose to you that you are God's secret recipe. You are God's secret sauce. You are God's secret hot sauce. Come on, somebody. You are God's secret weapon. And I believe, hear me now, I believe me being here in Samoa. And listen, I'm a prophet. I'm a prophetic voice. So to the prophetic person, everything's prophetic, not pathetic. Amen. But here I am. I'm in Samoa. 
And I'm like, my goodness, these people, this is some of the most anointed worship and music. Who here knows, you could be skilled in music, but not anointed in music, right? David had an anointing and he was also skilled. Me being here in Samoa, these are some of the most anointed worship services I've been in all year. And this far exceeds first world modern Western nations of Korea and the United States and Canada, okay? Some of y'all just need to stop thinking so high of yourself and go sit back down. These Samoans have a secret anointing. Oh my goodness. I don't think y'all are ready for this. These Samoans have a secret gift grace in their voice, in their life. I believe Samoa is a secret. And it's a mystery. I was doing some research. I shared this yesterday on Instagram Live. But it's a mystery how these Samoans, these Micronesians, these Polynesians, it's a mystery how these Polynesians came to be. It's a mystery. How did these small little island nations become inhabited by human beings? And not just that, but they're God-fearing people. Now, it's a secret. Someone say, it's a secret. It's a mystery. Even Apostle Paul says, it's a mystery how Christ loved the church. It's a mystery that a man should leave his father's house and should leave and cleave with his wife. It's a mystery. It's a secret. Now, God is releasing and revealing secrets of the kingdom. Let's go to this verse here. Amen. If you're with me today, say amen. Now, I want to pray for you that you will tap into the secrets of God. That you will tap into the secret line, the secret hotline called tongues. Because when you and I pray in tongues, pray in our prayer language, that is your secret language between you and the Lord. Someone say amen. That is your secret language, okay? It's not ebonics, it's not bubonics, it's not the bubonic, it's not the ebonics, it's not hooked on phonics, but it's your secret language with God. Someone say preach, Dr. Ben. So, your prayer language is your secret connection, your secret language with Jesus, with Yeshua, Hamashiach. And I believe God wants you to tap into his secrets. What's the secret to your success? What's the secret to longevity? What is the secret to breaking through? Shoot. There's been so many obstacles, so many setbacks. There's been so many difficulties, but what is the secret? What's your secret? You know what this is? It's the Holy Ghost. It's the Holy Spirit. You are God's greatest gift. You are God's greatest secret. Let's go to this verse here. If you're with me today, say amen. The secret of the Lord is with them that fear him, that fear him. And he will show them his covenant. Psalm 25, 14. I'm going to read that again. The secret of the Lord is with those that fear him and he will show them his covenant. Some say fear. Now, a lot of people today, they think God is only a God of love and we should not fear him. Oh, don't be afraid. No, you should be afraid of God. The same God. Jesus said you should be afraid of the one who's able to put your soul in hell or eternal life. I feel the Holy Ghost right now. Jesus. The fear of the Lord is coming back to the church. The fear of the Lord, the reverential terror of God. Did you know the Bible says they were terrified of the Israelites? Did you know the Bible says in the book of Acts, New Testament and Old Testament, in the book of Acts, that there was fear, great fear of the church. Wherever they went, fire. Wherever they went, glory. Wherever they went, the crowd went silent. Wherever they went, there was a demanded, commanded presence of authority. Just their authority. Imagine when a lion begins to walk through the plain or through the jungle. When the lion begins, it does not roar, it does not shout, it does not pout, but just its presence. There's a weight of the presence. There's a weight of respect. I'm talking to you about the fear of the Lord.
God says those who fear him, he will give them his secrets. Someone said, preach, talk to bed. Those who fear him, he will give them a secret. The secrets of God belong to those who fear him. Do you want secret intel? I don't know about you, but I want to know the depths of God's heart. I want to know Jesus. I want to know things that are important to the matter of his heart. I want to know, God, I, I hear me. I don't want to relate with you like Sandpaper Susie or Sister Sally. I want to relate to you in a personal, private, intricate way. I want to know you in a way, form, fashion, manner that no one else can. I want to relate with you. Like, no one, come on, I don't just want a carbon copy, cookie cutter relationship where it's just robotic, where it's the same. No, I want something special with you, God. And the Lord says the secrets of God belong to those, my God, as I feel the Lord, belong to those who fear him. Someone say amen. Come on, lift up your hands. The secrets of God belong to those who from now. That word secret in the Hebrew is sowed. I want you to say sowed, okay? Now, many people talk about this, especially one of my spiritual mothers, Dr. Michelle Corral. But it's called the sowed revelation. All right, not sowed like you sow a seed. Sowed, that's how you say it in Hebrew, sowed. But it's called sowed revelation. Secrets means sowed, okay, in Hebrew. So in Hebrew, secret means sowed, <clears throat> which means this. I need you to hear this. Sowed secret means this. It means circle, company, consultation, fellowship, and it means counsel. Secret means that you are a part of a secret society. Sowed means you are a part of a secret society, a secret club. You are a part of a group that is closed off from the world. You are a part of an upper echelon, the 1%. You're a part of a group, the elected, the selected, where you are able to consult with one another. Now, why is this important? Because God is saying he's revealing his secrets. He's revealing levels of secrets. It's like, imagine, if you want to join the YMCA or the Boys and Girls Club, if you want to join a club, you have to pay a membership. If you want to join a golf club, a country club, you want to join Netflix, you have to pay a membership subscription. In the same way, if you want to be a part of this company, this group of higher revelation, of higher learning, then you must pay the price by fearing God. Jesus. You must pay the price by fearing God. I'm convinced that the reason why I am able to see and experience God's secrets up close and personal, like Samoa. Samoa is one of God's secrets. Do you know how far you need to fly to get here? Do you know how difficult? I mean, it's not that difficult, but it's far out, my friends. In fact, they say that this is the ends of the earth. Coming out here to Samoa and the Polynesian Islands, this is the ends of the earth. Jesus said, you will preach in Jerusalem, Judea, Samaria, Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. This is the ends of the earth. It literally, factually is. And these are secrets of God. Who goes to Samoa and ministers? Who goes to Fiji? Who goes to, who goes to these nations and ministers, brings the gospel? I'm talking to you about the secrets of the Lord. And God is revealing secrets. God is revealing intel. God is revealing sowed revelation. Sowed revelation. 
that he only shares with those who fear him. If you're with me today, I want you to say amen. I'm going to bring this to a close. This is a three-part message here. Three-part message. Number one, you are God's great secret. You are God's great secret. If you believe that, say amen. You have so much, you carry so much. Everything you have, everything you've been through, you've experienced, you're carrying some. You are God's great secret. And the Lord wants to reveal you to his appointed chosen ones. Not everybody can handle you. Not everybody should be aligned with you. Not everybody should be up in your junk, in your trunk. Not everybody should be in alignment and covenant with you. You are God's great secret. And the Lord is about to reveal you. He's about to show you off. He's a great apocalyptos. He's a great revealer. You are the apocalypsis of Jesus. And what does apocalypse mean? It doesn't mean the end of times or it doesn't mean the end of the world. Apocalypse in a Greek means to reveal. You are the revelation of Christ in you for the hope of glory. If you believe it, say amen. Number two, the second thing I want to release and declare over you, number two, is that number two, God is revealing and downloading sowed secrets revelations to those who fear him. And if you fear him, I want you to say amen. If you fear, love, and honor the Lord, I want you to say hallelujah and give us some hearts and likes. Because I believe we're in a season right now where God is releasing an abundance and overflow of revelation, secrets, mysteries, blueprints, ideas, visions. My goodness. Jesus. But he just needs somebody to say yes and amen. He just needs somebody to believe in him. He just needs somebody who can carry the weight of that responsibility. To be an upholder of the covenant of faith. If that's you, say amen. So that's point number two. I want to prophesy over you. God is releasing secret, sowed secret revelations to those who fear him, amen. It ain't for them, it's for you. It ain't for them, it's for, it's for me, it's mine. I wanna know the mind of Christ. I wanna know the heart of Jesus. Can God trust me with his secrets? And then number three, the third thing I wanna prophesy over you in this season, if you're with me today, give me some hearts and likes and say amen, the third thing I want to point out and prophesy over you right now is that God is connecting you with other secret agents. God is connecting with other secret agents. So I'm saying, preach, Dr. Ben. Listen, me being here in Samoa, and that, that's the story of my life, guys. Everywhere I go, I'm looking out for the new breed. Everywhere I go, I'm looking for the hurt, the wounded, the offended individual. The gift that needs to be washed. I'm looking for the feet of apostles and prophets that needs to be washed and cleansed and healed. Everywhere I go, I'm looking for those next generation leaders, those voices that feel like they're stranded, singled out, misaligned, maligned, they're all alone, and they feel like there's no help. I'm looking for those people. As I travel across the earth, I'm looking for God's treasures that are hidden in secret places. Come on, somebody. That's why I love traveling. I love looking for God's treasures. I love looking for God's treasures. In the Navajo Nation, you got the turquoise Navajo. You got the Dene. You have, uh, you have the Dene, the First Nations. You have the Taos. You have the Apache. Beautiful. These secret treasures of God. In Hawaii, you got the local Hawaiians. You have, you know, the Polynesians here in Samoa. You have 
You have these beautiful gifts, graces that are hidden. Not seen and known. They may not be famous. They may not be influential. Come on, somebody. They may not be flooding social media and news and mainstream Hollywood and mainstream entertainment looking like the average white man or the another white man or this certain look or no but there are hidden treasures that are spread out all across the earth and i'm a treasure hunter all right i i'm the hunter not the hunted amen i'm a treasure hunter i love to seek and find all that is lost i love to seek and find those that are missing and say you you're not forgotten Beloved, man of God, woman of God, have strength. You're not alone. We stand with you. In the words of Dr. Ronnie Howard Brown, we must take a stand for those nations, for those countries that cannot stand for the gospel. We take a stand for the persecuted. We take a stand for the underground church. And you know what? In the month of November, I'm going to be preaching in underground churches in a communist country. Someone say amen. In a communist country, I'm going to be ministering the gospel in underground churches in the month of October, excuse me, this year. Amen. We take a stand. We're here to encourage you, to stand with you, to let you know you're not alone. We believe in you. We love you. Your life is not in vain. Your service, your ministry. I know it's hard to be a believer. I remember when I gave my life to serve Jesus. I, I want to share this quick story. If you're with me today, say amen. I was in Nepal, okay? God gave me my calling in the nation of Nepal, Kathmandu, in the Himalayan mountains. I got saved with YWAM DTS, and my schooling was in Australia, but my two months of outreach was in India and Nepal, all right? You wanna talk about missions? Go to India. You want, you, you want real missions? Go to India, I'm telling you. India is one of the craziest, supernatural spiritual places you could ever go on this planet and i've been to 57 nations i'm not kidding so i went to india and nepal and it was in nepal where god gave me my calling i remember i was sitting on the roof and i was drawing at the time and i was asking oh god what do you want me to do after the six month program what do you want me to do? and god said serve me for the rest of your life in the himalayan mountains you can see mount everest from the rooftop the tallest mountain in the world and here I am, I'm, I'm receiving this download. God's speaking to me saying, son, serve me for the rest of your life. Someone say amen. Serve me for the rest of your life. I forgot why I started sharing this story. <laughs> forgot why I'm sharing this story. Hallelujah. Somebody help me. Remind me, help me to backtrack and rewind. I got so passionate in sharing my story. Why did I start sharing this story? I'm talking about the secrets of the Lord, absolutely. Amen. Jesus. <laughs> but anyways, God gave my calling in the pot. Listen, I'm not getting old. I'm not, okay? I'm not getting old. I promise. <laughs> Even though we all do get old, but I ain't that old yet. Amen. Shaka, let me take another drink. <laughs> bang, bang. You. And this is Guarana from Brazil. Fruit natural. Um, thank you, Lord. I was in Nepal and God called me. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. But this is why we take a stand. We take a stand for the unbelief. We take a stand to encourage, edify the body of Christ. You're not alone, church. You're not alone. Mom, dad, mama, papa, sister, brother, auntie, uncle, you are not alone. There's so many more. There's 7,000 that have not yet bowed their knees to Baal, nor have kissed the mouth of Jezebel. There's 7,000 left. There's more than 7,000. There's a remnant. Amen. There's a remnant that remains. Hallelujah. And, and thank you. I, I think I'm getting the gist of what I was going to say. But why I'm sharing this is because there's a world out there that does not have what we have. We are so blessed, we're so privileged. We're so blessed, we're so privileged, we're oversaturated, we're so fat, and we're fat Christians. You need to work out your faith. 
You need to do something with your faith, all right? We're fat, lazy, obese Christians where it's all about me, myself, and I, a bless me club. We've turned into a bless me jacuzzi, a bless me cesspool of human feces. But God is saying, will you go to the end of it? Will you? Will you? Amen. Will you? Come on, somebody. Will you go and find those treasures? Those hidden leaders, those hidden men, women of God that nobody knows about. And would you give honor to them? Just your presence. Just your presence. Just your presence means so much. And that's what I'm realizing again. Being here in Samoa. Do you know? Just your presence means so much. The fact that I, and listen, I'm, I'm not that big of a preacher, okay? I mean, to some people I am, to some people I'm not. But I know who I am. But the fact that I would make time to come to this desolated, far out, difficult far, island nation of Samoa, the fact that I would come, it means the world to these people. And I'm not just a small little preacher. You know what I'm saying? I'm not just a small. Amen. Shikarabata. The fact that I'm here, it means that God, it literally, do you know what that means? It literally means, and I'm not saying it's about me. I'm just saying this is a general principle. The fact that you are there, it is a sign that God's favor is upon you. The fact that you are at your workplace, Prophet Ivana, the fact that you're there in Simi Valley, Connie Perez, the fact that you're there, it's a sign that God is not done yet. It's a sign of help. It's a sign of the helps ministry. Destiny helpers are present. It's a sign that intercessors are present. It's a sign that God's not done with you yet. It's a sign that God is not done with Samoa. In fact, it's a sign that there's about to be a flood and a harvest of miracles, signs of wonders and glory. It's a sign. You are a signpost to this generation. Your children will be signs and wonders to Israel. Isaiah 8.18, your children will be a sign. Number three, God is connecting you to his secret agents. It's my great honor and privilege wherever I go. I'm always looking for the new breed. I'm always looking for those who have potential. I'm always looking for those who have the same spirit, same frequency, same language. We have the same vision. It's kingdom, not denomination. It's Jesus. It's not religion. It's the power of God. It's revival, reformation. It's mere. Come on. I want the Holy Ghost. I want Jesus. It's souls. I want to see souls saved. I want to see souls. It's not about my agenda. Whatever it takes, whatever it costs. Hallelujah. Whatever it takes, whatever it costs. I will lay down my life. I want to be a part of that company, that sewed company. I want to be part of that secret company, the Navy SEALs of God. I want to be part of that company that will not relent until they have it all. I want souls. I want nations. Ask of me. And I will give you the nations as your inheritance, the ends of the earth as your possession. Someone say amen. I want to be part of that company. And you know what, friends? I believe right now we're in a season. Number three, three things. Number one, God says you are his great secret. You, Cheryl A. Riker, if you're still, you are God's great secret, my friend. You are God's great secret that he's waiting and wanting to reveal to the world. You're God's best secret. You're God's best kept secret. Number two, God is revealing and downloading secrets, revelations to you because you can uphold, you can carry that weight of responsibility. And then number three, God is connecting you to his secret agents. 
He's connecting your secret agents. Who would have known my friendship with my good friend here, Apostle Cruz? I met him in 2016, friends. 2016. I met him during the time of Azusa Now, The Send, at the Los Angeles Coliseum. Him and his whole crew came out to LA and we met at a TV studio at Joseph Nazarilla's, the way the Cross TV station. What a trip! And I just ran into the man of God, Dr. Joseph, literally a few weeks ago, and we we're on the phone a few days ago. And we're planning some. He's opened he's opened up the door for me to go to Egypt in the month of October. I'm going to Egypt. We're doing a crusade in Egypt. Smaller crusade this time. Because you know we gotta build, right? Amen. And who would have known that from then to now? Now is the time. Now is the time. Number three, he's connecting you with his secret agents. So you can move and operate in stealth and in wealth. If you receive this word today, say amen, lift up your hands, God, bless your people. I ask you wherever they're watching from, may you open up the heavens over their lives. I talk to you as a man of God. I'm here in the great nation of Samoa, this beautiful secret nation. I, I feel so blessed, honored, and privileged to be an ambassador of God's kingdom, to be an ambassador of the glory of God. And I speak to you from the great nation of Samoa. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. Cause his face to shine upon you. Get ready for the secrets of the Lord which belong to him. If you're with me today, I want to say amen. Hallelujah. Do consider giving us some hearts and likes and sharing this on your wall. I wanted to let you know that I'm alive in Samoa. I wanted to say hello. I had a little bit of time. I know it's Friday for most of you watching in the United States. So it's a busy, busy time. But all is well. I got to get the word out and release. Hey, real quick. This Sunday... If you're in the Southern California area, like Connie Perez, etc., we have our good friend, Dr. Roberts Lairdin, coming to open heaven's world. Dr. Roberts Lairdin, he's the author of God's Generals, one of the best-selling book series. And he also is a general in the army of God, in the church of Jesus Christ. Great man of God, great general. So uh, we would love to see you this Sunday. Otherwise, you could join and watch online live. Amen. Dr. Roberts Laird and the author of God's Generals will be with us this Sunday at Open Heavens World, 2 p.m. Pacific Standard. If you have read God's Generals or you've been blessed by the series God's Generals, I want you to say me, okay? Because that's, I mean, praise God for Dr. Roberts for narrating and orating and historically accounting the beautiful testimonials lives of these precious gifts, these precious gifts, our family members in the body of Christ. Amen. As well, um, of course, I'm going to be in Hawaii next week. Listen, y'all need to be there. Come to Hawaii. All right. Listen, you look like you need a vacation. I'm telling you, you with that bad hair day, you. <laughs> you look like you need a vacation, okay? So I want to see you in Hawaii. That's going to be next week, July 27th to the 30th. Do you believe it? we're almost done with July already, guys? We're almost done with July. Crazy. We're almost done with July. Um, but I want to see you in Hawaii. Myself, Prophet Charlie and Bryn Sham and Steve Swanson. July 27, 28, 29, and 30. All right, in Oahu, Hawaii. Now, if you cannot be there in person, I want to encourage you, register online and watch our live broadcast. Be a part of what God's doing. I mean, these are some of the top-notch prophetic voices and ministers on earth today. And I'm so humbled and honored that many of them are my friends and many of them are good friends to me and of mine. So, listen, 
I would love to see you in Hawaii at the greater glory Oahu, myself, Prophet Charlie and Bryn Champ, and as well, Steve Swanson. All right, so go ahead and join, register online, and we'd love to see you. Friends, I love you. This is Dr. Pastor Ben Lim. I hope you enjoyed and received this word of impartation today. It's one of your favorite prophetic voices, live to you from the beautiful nation of Samoa. Soon I'll be in Fiji, then I'll be in Hawaii. Pray with me, tonight is our last night. You can watch live in about seven, eight hours from now. God bless, Shabbat Shalom, see ya.